Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a rating your Doomsday Deck video covering one of the weirdest armies I think I've ever seen. Uh, we're playing as Avalorn, and we've got a hero-based artillery army. Now he's coined this one the Uber Artillery Army. Everything is is geared around boosting these artillery. So the Lord has the trait punitive, and what that does is strips the enemy units in a local area of all, of some of their missile resistance. We've got a Life Wizard. I don't know what the trait is. We've got a Frost Maiden Tempest. So we stole that from Kislev from an alliance. The purpose of this one here is to provide a Gust of the True Wind. Overcasting this will provide this effect, but overcast. Sorry, um, but in an area of effect. So we get 30% extra range on Hellstorm rocket batteries, which is just gigantic. You've got. Jorik Grimm, who is a legendary hero from Marcus Wolfhart's campaign. His purpose is to provide the passive range bonus as in addition to uh, ballistics calibration and just some passive extra ammunition that's happening through his skill line. You've got Kalara, which is able to use... Uh, that's another legendary hero from Marcus Wolfhart's campaign. So you're able to slow down certain units from getting too close. Anyone starting to get too close to the enemy, pop uh, to your artillery. You pop this down. Uh, you've got two nobles with the both of them have the Philias robe which is providing them 50% extra physical resistance so these are tanks uh, then you've got three law masters of Hoeth, also with the Philias robe these are also tanks but you can use them for magic you've got borrowed hellstorm rocket barriers from Reichland and the golden order you've got regular eagle claw bolt throwers you've got the ancestor heroes from clan Angren, whom we are fighting against <laughs> here so this one here is an engineer but this is the new type of engineer that doesn't provide um extra range but what it does do is restock on ammunition then you've got a runesmith over here and you've got um a thane so there should have been another ancestor hero that he could have potentially stolen but he didn't get that one um Anyway, let's jump in here and see how it goes up against four full stacks of, uh, of dwarfs. So it should be interesting. Now, in terms of the banner of the Eternal Flame, there's going to be some people that'll be like, Oh, why didn't you put down the banner before he did? Okay, thing to consider. All right. Flaming attacks in this situation here are actually detrimental to us. There are no units in this army that have regeneration or are actually weak against fire. So adding flaming attacks to any of our units is going to do nothing. Base weapon damage, that is only for melee, so it will not increase our, our missile weapon strength whatsoever. Useless. It will, however, give this one missile um, attack, uh, flaming missile attack, so detrimental, especially considering there are a bunch of units here that are heavily resistant to fire. So in this case here, th sometimes the banner of eternal flame is good, but in this case here, do not bring it very much detrimental but yeah <laughs> whenever I go into these battles and don't bring a banner there's always someone like why didn't he bring the banner he's so crap <laughs> it's a bad banner in this situation because you have to understand how flaming attacks actually work in this situation here bringing flaming attacks provides no additional damage none whatsoever because it is simply it, like Having flaming attacks only benefits if something has regeneration or is actually weak against fire. That is it. That's the only time you want to bring fire. If anything has resistance to fire, you don't want to bring it. So typically speaking, if you're going up against high elves or dwarves, don't bring fire attacks. Because those are two races that are not weak against fire and typically speaking quite resistant to it. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I am going to set up in such a way that I think we can get Gust of the True Flight on all of them, if overcasted. Now, another thing is that since we're going up against four full stacks, we'll want to try to make sure that our ammunition's, you know, not being wasted. So it might be a good idea to wait until they blow up before we start shooting them. Maybe. Wait, so they'll probably just wait for their reinforcements. Okay, so... Um, we want this guy here. He's an engineer. You stand there. And you, you're also an engineer. You stand here. Hang on, that looks a little bit messed up. That's a bit better. Yep. Make sure they're on guard mode. These ones here as well. I'm going to put them on anti-infantry. Yep. So their job is primarily to use the ballistics calibration. Yep. 
Uh, let's have a look Defend at this one. Yep, one. so that's the Lord there. If we c we could probably use her to like run around and stuff. Noble. Yeah. Life My wizards stay back. Yours. If there's any um, rune lords and we cast nearby them, they can make us miscast, so stand back. White Tower Guardian. Tank, tank, Lord tank, tank, Poet. tank. Asura yep. Noble. What we want is for them to all crowd around us here so the Hillstorm Rocket Batteries come at us. So what we're going to do is go kind of wide to begin with. Not as wide as they are, but then as they come at us, once they've actually targeted us, we want to be getting in into a, a blob. Assuming that they all do it as well. If there's any stragglers, then we send the fast news to try to reel them back in. Alright, if you want to shoot at the beginning, that's fine. Okay, are you in range to begin with? So at the moment, we've got 528 range because they got that uh, ballistics instructor. So we're just about within range there. Maybe just don't shoot just yet. Because, yeah, just wait for their reinforcements to show up. Because that's how we could potentially lose this battle is by just shooting at a bad target. All right. So these ones here, their range gets to 456. So that's really where we should be fighting at a bare minimum. I guess, I guess just to show it off, let's pop down Gust of the True Flight now and get a few pot shots off just to showcase just how much ridiculous range we've got. So the Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers, 570 range. These ones here, 672 range. But don't get too many shots off just yet. Just wanted to showcase that. Okay, that's all. That's all. Also... Pop this down now on this wizard here, because she's not moving in this battle. As long as we don't do it again, what's going to happen here is that this channeling spire, even though we can't see it, it's going to remain permanently active, providing us reserves per second. And because we've got a runesmith, this dude here, um, I can't actually see how much wind reserve I've got. <laughs> it's, yeah, kind of weird. Um, okay. Guide you two should be trying to aim I've for this lord over here, who is floating. Okay, the reinforcements are on the way. Now we've got to try and bring them in here. So these guys here, bring them in this way. Don't let them go wide. Ready and able. I'm gonna bring them in over here. That's it. Bring it over here. Get their attention. Bring them over. See, that one's going a bit too wide over there. Need to get its attention. Go this way. That's it. Might take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Get its attention. Come this way. Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright, Gust of the True Flight. We've also got this one here, but we shouldn't use it because it's flaming attacks. It's just not going to provide any value here. Plus, it's only base weapon damage and we need weapon, um, armor piercing. We've got this one over here. We don't like that. Let's go and get their attention. Okay, you guys into melee. Not you. Try to get their attention. Stop them from going wide. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, yep. That's it, come around this way. That's it. Bring him in over here, yep, that's it. At once! Awaiting orders! That's it, we're taking a bit of damage, but that's okay. That's okay, we can heal. It. Okay, I need some more crowd control over here. Bring them in this way. You as well. Okay, I want them bombing in here. Where the major amount of, uh, of enemies are. Okay, and let's pop down a bit of a heal there. You get their attention. Bring them over this way. Okay, just let them do their thing. Okay, let's pop down another gust of the true flight there. That'll give them extra accuracy. And the Hillstorm rocket batteries are just wrecking house over here. Quickly now. With haste. Princess. I go then. 
Okay, we got some. Yep, yeah, we got some debuffs we can use. Good. I didn't even check that before. That's it. We're bringing them in over here. Just need to get their attention. That's it. Yeah, go around. Go around. That's it. Keep them in the fight right over here. Don't let anyone come out over this way. Because the further away they are, they'll sort of like threat detect it. It'll just take them too long to get to us, so they'll just fight what they feel like they can. Ooh, uh, no, just let the hailstorm rocket batteries do their thing. So get around the back from here. Yep, that's good, that's good. Really good there. The hailstorm rocket batteries are just wrecking house. That's exactly what we want to see. Good, 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 good. I am really liking what we're seeing here. This is working beautifully. Okay, we could also pop down a Rune of Negation on you. Got that as well, but let's focus on the artillery here. Could use more abilities. Okay, this guy here clearly needs a regrowth. Maybe I should pull him out. It might be because of these heroes. Okay, give it a bit of a break with them. Same thing over here, because most of those units are dead. We're just going to wait for more reinforcements to show up. Uh, we've got cannons coming in. They're within range. Get rid of them. Okay, we're going to need more firing speed and accuracy against that to get rid of them. Forward! It shall be! Astorian wills it! Understood. Okay, I don't know if we really need more magic, but you know, there you go. Princess of Alfwan. Yep, try to stop these artillery. Good, 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 good. good. We've also got uh, this, but I haven't needed it yet. Princess of Alfwan. Cleanse the land. Yep, yeah, try to get rid of this. So we got a few okay. units trying to make their way over to us. Yeah, try to get rid of all these heroes here if you can. Okay, you guys can stop for now. Alright, let's start restoring ammunition with this. At once. To battle. Just gotta wait for their reinforcements to show up no so we can uh, actually get good noble. shots in. They're too thinned out there now. And we can see here that yeah, we've still got the channeling spire active. Eagle Don't think you really need to shoot. They'll, they'll be able to handle this. Flame cannon incoming, but I'll blow that up with hills from rocket batteries. Yep. Once again, pop this down. Mainly just for the accuracy in this case here. Princess of Alfwan. Moving out! Doing my duty. So far, so good. Okay, we've still got incoming here. I mean, they got a long way to go to get to us. The blob over here is about to uh, continue. That's good. These flame cannons are not going to get to us. Orders, move as a mage. I think one of the things that I'm concerned about with this army, though, is that up against a faster Alpha enemy, mage. like this is this is very good against dwarfs, right? But going up against something with a lot of single entity, like fast single entities, like maybe Lizardmen, this is probably not going to work so well. Because this is very much anti-infantry. Yes. But that being said, Take tailoring your army to, to go up against it. dwarfs, then that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, that's it's gone. Good job. That one didn't bring it to artillery, so don't worry about it. Get back. Alright, that's looking like it's time for more bombing okay I'm gonna get them to resume firing Drop down on you make sure we maintain ammunition okay if we need to slow anyone down we can use this champion of order 
And that is just absolutely wrecking house there. Still got a lot more coming. So, yeah, don't use up all of our ammunition there. This guy here decided to uh, go ahead of the army, bomb him. But no one's even close yet. Yeah, look at that there. Bloody ammo dodging. Just leave it, just leave it. Bounce power's looking good. Ready. Saint Louis. By Asurian. Ready. Forward. Eagle uh, oh, uh, Maybe you should Battle shoot them because uh, that's more difficult to dodge. Got these abilities here as well, but I wouldn't worry about that. Daughter of Athelurin. Brave and true. All right, gonna be a nice big blob here real soon. All right, let's pop down another one of these. Right, Got to make sure I overcast it. And get back to it. Don't forget to pop this down on for them. Good. Good, give them no chance to get away. Make sure these iron breakers here don't get to the artillery, although they've still got a long way to get here. And these guys, sorry, uh, these two here, they are, well, they should be shooting at them as they're coming in. Holy crap. Look at the 1,000 kills on this one. Very good. Well, this battle's over. I don't think there's any slayers left. Alright, you guys can stop firing. That is a lot of dead dwarfs. And a few live ones. Well, actually, technically, they're dead. The only alive dwarf here is ones are running away and this dude here. Okay. Cool. Well, I don't need to worry about healing them because I don't need to send it so far back. It's just to showcase this battle. Damn, did that do a good job. Very nice. I think it was really important to um, not just waste our ammunition at the start. Because, yeah, that, that's the biggest concern there is that they just didn't have, like, absolutely unlimited amounts of um, ammo. Some... Something that might have made it a little bit more viable to just like, you know, just shoot willy-nilly um, is a few more maybe Warlock Engineers. Not, not that big of a deal. Uh, it's probably reasonably difficult to get them in the first place, but if you're going to do them, you might as well. Just for the extra 20 ammunition each, 20% extra ammo. So if we were going to replace anyone, I think replacing the runesmith with a warlock engineer for extra ammunition would be okay getting a frugal actually i should really check to see if those two guys there are frugal they may go they, if they should be if they're not frugal you're missing out on a lot of ammo let me have a look at this that's what you should be doing yeah don't worry about the warlock engineers resilient you need more ammunition, dude. Yeah, so Frugal used to reduce the upkeep cost, but now it provides extra ammunition by 20% for the army. So, if you had two Frugal heroes, I, I imagine they're both resilient. Oh, no, you've got you've got one there. Okay, that's good. Okay. Well, look, he didn't take that much damage, so really getting another one would, would have been fine. And he's still got a lot of ward save, because he's got oh, right, Armor of Destiny. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, that's a lot of ward save, actually. Um on that one there yeah 
But I think if this one here had been frugal, extra 20% ammo, that would, would be good. But, you know, this one here has even more ward save. Yeah, he's, he's at his physical resistance damage cap. Yeah. Alright, cool. So, overall, let's let's rate this. Um, in terms of practicality, doing this, not practical. R huge amount of effort required to do it. In terms of strength, ridiculously strong against particular types of enemies. Super good against infantry. Imagine should be okay against Skaven, as long as they don't have any menace belows. If they do have menace belows, you're screwed. Um, so you have to make sure you fight them in um, non-corrupted regions, or you're not fighting Queek, because that would wreck you. Um... Be really bad against any army that has fast units that you don't manage to pin down that are single entities because you just won't be able to kill them quickly enough. Basically anything that can get to your artillery will ruin this army and then you just have to rely too heavily on, on your single entities which they're good but your your army relies very heavily on the artillery. So I imagine Tomb Kings would be a no-go for this because of the Rumble Souls or Shabti. Uh, that would just delete them unless they accident, unless they cast it somewhere they shouldn't, which does happen. Um, going up against Lizardmen, if they're bringing Rite of Primeval Glory Army, no. Reichlin, this would be good against, even though they've got some cavalry. T typically speaking, you can get them to into the blob. Um, and you've got some fast heroes there, you should be able to redirect them. Um, that should be okay against, it just depends on what you're going up against. But yeah, super strong army against certain enemies, pretty easy to use. Really like the combination of heroes there. The only thing I could think to do is really do this with the Wood Elves, right? Because instead of getting a Punitive Lord, right? Oh, I thought you said it was Punitive. Alright, never mind. I, th I thought it was Punitive. Maybe he's got a Punitive Lord in the area. Right. See, the Missile Resistance minus 10% enemy units in the army. Right, so he doesn't have to be attached to it. Okay, that's a lot of effort to do that. Um, to have, like, two armies... Uh, for that purpose there um but anyway doing it with the wood elves you get a talent of kurnos lord which i believe provides 15 to 30 percent extra range um to, for the entire army then you also get wolf Hearts hunter uh yurik Grim, and and also the uh the frost maiden tempest and you're probably looking at something like 800 or 900 range which is absolutely ridiculous that is that is to the point where you could shoot from one side of the map to the other um why you would need that's just such an excessive amount but that's something that you could do to make it better but anyway that's it this one here guys also i want to let you guys, like, let you guys know that at the time of releasing this video i will be live streaming but not on this channel on these on the the new channel for valheim so if you're interested in coming to watch me and my wife play some valheim together uh go and check out the new channel the link will be in the description. We will be live streaming at the time of this video's release. So obviously, if you come to watch this video, say, five hours after it was released, the live stream's probably over, but the vote will still be there. Um, but yeah, me and my wife, we did a live stream uh, and played with many of you guys um, with Valheim the other day, and it was it was really great. Um, so we want to be doing more of that. The 24-hour live stream is only two days away. It's a This Is Total War campaign. We've got all of our charities lined up. Everything is in line and going according to plan. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I hope I see you on the live stream. Later, guys. Bye.